you see a bunch of mayfly shells floating on the water. This means there's a hatch happening. Time to tie on a mayfly fly. Here are some excellent mayfly flies to use in this situation. Split case. This fly pattern features a body that splits open and mimics the moment the mayfly breaks free from its shell. Cripple. This pattern has a bent or curved body, representing a mayfly pupa that is struggling to emerge. Fish often target these vulnerable pups. Beadhead. A mayfly beadhead nymph can add weight for deeper water and a touch of attraction for this hatch. 1. Match the hatch. Ideally, your fly should resemble the emerging mayfly species. Look for clues like the floating exoskeleton's size, color, and wing shape. Local fly shops or online resources can help you identify the specific mayfly and recommend matching flies. 2. Size. Mayfly pupae vary in size depending on the species. A good rule of thumb is to choose a fly slightly smaller than the cocoon you observe. 3. Color. Mayfly pupas can range from light cream to olive or brown. Choose a fly with a similar body color to the emerging mayfly. Here are some additional tips for fishing mayfly pupa flies. 1. Depth control. Cast your fly upstream and mend your line to keep it drifting below the surface film, mimicking the emerging cocoon. 2. Retrieves. You can experiment with different retrieves. Sometimes, a slow, steady retrieve works well, while other times, a slight pulsing motion can imitate a struggling cocoon. 3. Leader length. A slightly longer leader, around 9 feet, can give the mayfly pupa a more natural drift downstream. By understanding the mayfly hatch and choosing the right pupa fly, you'll be well on your way to catching fish during this prime feeding opportunity. For more detailed information regarding hatches, check out what is a hatch. Unlock Pro Mystery today. The details are in the description below.